And, you know, we know Apostle is in Miramar. Um, they're doing a call to order, uh, relationships, marriage, and sex. And the message that he gave me for tonight, he gave it to me a couple of days ago. And it was, I guess you say the focal point, because all, the word is always for all of us. But I guess you can say the focal point is for, was for the women. Then I look up, I said, wow. We have mostly women. Okay, amen. So, I know that the word is, and what God gave me was on point. So tonight, we're going to talk about Kingdom mindset for a married woman. Can I get a witness here? <laughs> Kingdom mindset for a married woman. Not primarily, I know I'm going to bounce around a little bit, but not primarily, but the focal point. It's going to be kingdom mindset for a married woman. Because the Bible says that we are in the world, but we are not of the world. So when you hear somebody saying the world, the world, the world, they're not talking about houses, cars, and lands. That cannot be. That, that cannot be. That, that, that cannot be. If they, if they are referring to a house, a car, or land as a worldly thing, they are, they, they are misinterpreting the scripture. Because when God talks about the world, he's talking about a mindset. Because they, they, they can't be saying, oh, well, you going out the world? Like, no, 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 no. He said all things were made by him. He said who, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. So, he, so, so when there's somebody say about the world, that, that has nothing to do with things. When God's mentioning it, he's talking about a mindset. See, in the kingdom, we can't have a worldly mindset because our agenda is supposed to be to save lives. So how are we going to save lives if we have the wrong mindset? Oh, y'all are hearing what I'm saying to you. He said, don't be like the world. You are in the world, but you are not of the world. You are not like them. I made you a peculiar people. But unfortunately, I'm not going to say specifically, Archer. I'm just I'm going to give you what, what God said. <laughs> unfortunately, in the kingdom, we have the wrong mindset. When it comes down to what your expectation is as a married woman. Hmm. So, so watch this. What God showed me was a lot of women have the worldly mindset of what a, 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 what a woman is supposed to be, but she's in the church. Now, does it sound right? Does it look right? So how are we going to change the world? He said, God so loved the world that he gave his only sweet God's son. He desired that no man be lost. That's his mindset. Come on now. So how are we going to change the world if we got the world in us? Oh, y'all not hearing what I'm saying to you. How are we going to change the world if we got the world in us? We got the wrong mindset. See, watch this. He says, come as you are. So you're going to have men and women, they're going to come as they are. Some women are going to come and they're going to be, they're going to be currently in prostitution. Come on now. They're going to be currently in whoremongers. They're going to be in. They, that's, what they, that's what they're acting in. Come on, I'm not saying that's, oh, they're not going to never change. There's no hope. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. That's why he said come as you are. You can come as a prostitute. You can come as a liar. You can come as a thief. You can come as a gambler. You can come as a pimp or hustler. He said come as you are. But the workers... I'm supposed to grab you and pull you in and help you change your mindset. 
Come on now. But if you have the same mindset as the prostitute, come on, I'm not poking at a prostitute. I want you to see something here now. You have the same mindset as the prostitute. How she going to see something different? You have the same mindset. She coming to get something different, but you have the same mindset. How are we going to change the world if you have the same mindset? The scripture tells us we're supposed to renew our mind. But unfortunately, in the kingdom, a lot of times we don't see the renewing of the mind in this area. Can I get a witness here? Oh, you got to get this. We don't see the mindset in this particular area changing like the kingdom. Unfortunately, we kind of see almost the same similarities with the same mindset. Sometimes it's because of misinformation. You got pastors, deacons, elders, they have the wrong mindset. Come on, now you got to catch this. They would tell the daughters in the kingdom, you need to go after a man this particular way and do this, that, and the other, but that's the wrong mindset. So she's under the assumption they're supposed to do it like this, but it made it tell you that's the wrong mindset. If any overseer or leader or man of God is telling you that you go out, you, you, you say yes or no to the man marrying you based on what he has, that's the wrong mindset. Because in the kingdom, it's all about saving lives. So if the agenda is to save lives, if that's the first primary agenda, and that's the preeminence of all things, then what you, what you get out of it is what you get out of it. Meaning, you may not get the house that you want. Mm. Oh, 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 I said something I shouldn't have said. You may not get the car that you want to get. If you're trying to operate in the kingdom and follow his mindset, hmm, you may not get the kind of husband that you want if you try to operate in the kingdom and follow God's mindset. He said, be not like the world. He wants us to have a different mindset. But if the, if the women of God have the wrong mindset, so when the prostitute come, you're going to teach her the wrong thing. So God wants to help you in your journey and get in the right mindset. Can I get a witness here? He wants to change. He said renewing of your mind. You can't think like the world does. That's the world mindset. Look at her, what he dresses. Look at what he drives. Look at what he has. That, it, it, that's the world mindset. And the world, that to them, that's what makes them a, this guy a good man. What he has, what he drives, well, how much money he got. No, that's not the kingdom mindset. That's the world. He said, be not like the world. He said, you are in it, but you are not of it. Meaning, don't, be, don't have the same mindset. Well, we can't get married because we don't have no, no, uh, 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 no, no house to stay in. What do you mean? If God said do it, then God will provide something, somewhere for you to stay. He may have you married, stay in the homeless shelter. Oh, he wouldn't do me like that. Oh, Jesus, take me to the cross. Oh, my God, I can't believe that. I didn't get married to live in no homeless shelter. That is the mindset of somebody in the world.
Because if your assignment is to go to the homeless shelter to save lives, then you operate in the kingdom mindset. If that's your first assignment as husband and wife is to go to the shelter, then to God be the glory. Well, I'm ashamed to tell him this is my husband because he doesn't have a place for me to stay. Wrong mindset. God is the supplier of all of your needs. He picks and supplies a place for you to stay and a car for you to drive. Not your husband. You're not hearing what I'm saying to you. But if your mindset is he has to do this for me, you miss God. That is the wrong mindset. I didn't say that he doesn't want you. I did not say that. But your assignment as a woman of God comes before what you want and what you like. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So let me help you out, ladies. Let me come down. In different seasons of your life, when you marry and you have the kingdom mindset, there may come a season where your, where your husband say, baby, check this out. I got X amount of dollars, and for you, whatever you want, baby. Whatever you want. Go to Saks, Louis, whatever you want, baby. Because you my baby, so whatever you want, I got you. Whatever you want. Now, I only got this amount of bread now. Come on now. But whatever you want that I can afford, you can get it. Because I love you, baby. You my baby. You my boo. I'll do anything for you. I'll drive from here to California for you. But if the season shift and the assignment does not afford me to do that for you, then you got to understand that. But I want you to know if I could, and I, it, for you, because it's you, baby, I'll get 10 houses for you because you my baby. I love you. You my baby. You my lady. But God's assignment and agenda come before all that. So if it shifts and we have to sell all ten and go back to the homeless shelter to finish our assignment, to God be the glory. Because my assignment and your assignment comes before everything else. So if you're trying to save the world, how are you going to save? You have the wrong mindset. He better take care of my bills. He better take care of me. He better no 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 whoa 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 that ain't the right mindset. Now let me help you out again, ladies. If it's okay, come on, that's your lady. Come on now. This your baby. This your boo boo boo. But your mindset shouldn't be, he got to, you're going to get mad because he can't get you no Maybelline. Oh, come on now. You tripping. No Maybelline means no, no midnight nightcap. Mm. And I ain't talking about nothing to drink. Hmm. No nails done. No nightcap for you. That ain't the kingdom mindset. Well, I... I you ain't getting my hair done? Oh, no nightcap for you. And I ain't talking about nothing to drink. Hmm. Hmm. That is the wrong mindset. Now, well, hold on now. now. I mean, I spent a little time on the outside of Christ. And, and, and I remember that mindset and that mindset uh, 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 remind me of what we used to call on the street the trick hoe game. Hmm. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just saying. I, now I ain't saying that nobody here is, is that. I'm saying, but that, that mindset. Come on now, stay with me now. That mindset that remind me of the trick hoe game. I'm just saying now that that remind me of that game. When I hear that kind of talk, that he can't touch you because he didn't buy you no Maybelline, <laughs> that he didn't pay your bills, I thought it was ours, but, but we're going to keep it moving. Um, what do you mean? That sounds like that. I'm just saying. The trick, the trick whole game. 
I'm not saying you a trick up, but I'm saying if you thinking like that, you have that mindset. Affection for pay? Hold on now. Affection for pay. So the only reason I could touch your hand is if I have something to buy you. If I paid your bills. If I took you out to dinner. That sounds like a trick whole spirit to me. I didn't say that's what you were. Now, come on now, stay with me. I said that mindset, that's what that is. Now, come on, let's call it what it is. Service, sex for service. Attention for service. Come on now, so now I'm just saying now, I'm just saying, I remember being out there for a little while. I remember that mindset now. So, you hey, you know, come on. The strippers now, they, they, they wouldn't always do every single thing that people be saying they're doing. Sometimes they would just talk to the guys. And the guys would pay them just to talk to them. Because they needed somebody to talk to. Because in essence, the wife is supposed to be the emotional support for the husband. But if she got the wrong mindset, <laughs> guess what she going to say? Brother, you ain't got nothing to give me. So I'll tell you what you we're going to do. Brother from the United Negro College Front, please. I don't hear nothing you got to say. Mm-hmm. That's right, I said it. Brother from the United Negro College Front. I didn't say the whole word. I didn't say the other word. I said Negro. From the College Front, please, don't even touch me. Matter of fact, you, uh, you, your, your sight attests me. It abhor me. I don't even want to see you disgust me. Wait a minute now. So you, you are a, a mighty woman of God. You pray and you prophesy. You lay hands on the sick. You cast out devils. And you discern dreams. But if your husband ain't doing what you want to do, he can't touch you. Now, mind you, the scripture says the woman was made for the man, not the man for the woman. Oh, 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 I dropped the bomb. 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 He said the woman was made for the man, not the man for the woman. So, wait a minute now. Hold on. Now, the scripture, now I ain't making it up. Now, that's what the Bible says. He said the woman was made for the man, not the man for the woman. So we got it twisted up in the kingdom. I see men because they have the wrong mindset. Well, I'm going to do this, that, and the other because I got to pay all the bills. I got to take care of my family. That's the wrong mindset. Not in the kingdom. I didn't say you're not supposed to be doing nothing. Come on, I didn't say that. But as a kingdom worker, you're supposed to be doing what God said. Your assignment might land you in McDonald's. Your assignment might land you in Taco Bell. Because the preeminence of all things is to save lives. So if you don't want to really save lives, you need to get out of the kingdom. Because you got the wrong mindset. We got a song. You know the song. I'm not going to sing the whole song or just Beyonce got a song, Can You Pay My Bills? Come on. As a kingdom, woman of God, you got to know that God said he shall pay all your bills. Can I get a witness here? That God shall, are you not hearing me? That God said he shall pay all your bills. So you should be trying to pressure your, 
your, your king, your mighty man of God into doing something contrary to what God got him doing. So he can make your life comfortable. No, 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 no. If he loved, remember what I said now, if he loved you and the season dictated, baby, you get whatever you want. You can get 10 cars, 10 houses, because you, my baby, whatever you want, baby, I got you. But if the season shifts, as a woman of God, you got to say, okay, baby, let's sell all this stuff. And wherever your assignment is, let's do this. So if you don't sold all this, we done sold all this stuff. Now, your new assignment is in Texas. As a gender. But your mindset is, the woman was made for the man, not the man for the woman. So, okay, God, tell me how you want to help. Tell me how you want me to help my man do his assignment. Now, while he's at his janitor position, and by the way, God told him to volunteer. Let me, let me just throw it up in there for you. Somebody have an heart attack back there. Come on, breathe, 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 breathe. <laughs> but you got to get a kingdom mindset because it's all about the primary focus is to save lives not saying that God does not want to do things for you but the Bible says all things were made by him and for him. And everything that was made, he made it. And he said also in that same scripture passage, he said, but he is above all things. Oh, y'all not hear what I'm saying to you. Kingdom mindset is what Abraham did. Because the king of kings and the Lord of lords said, give this thing up. I want you to kill it. Kingdom mindset, let's do this. What the king said comes first. I may want my son to be around for X amount of years, but the king has total autonomy and rulership over me. What the king says goes. But if you don't have that mindset, you need to get out of the kingdom. Now, notice what I said. I did not say that God does not want you to have a house, does not want you to have, but what I am saying is, if the season shifts, you might have to let all that go. To continue to fulfill your assignment. All things were made by him and for him. And everything that was made, he made it. But he is above all things. Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego, they had kingdom mindset. For the sake of standing on one verse, is that we're willing to lose it all to reflect God. You got to get this these brothers were established in their field, in, in the polit politician field, they were established. But kingdom mindset, so I can't tell, I can't, I can't bow the knee to another God because the kingdom, kingdom uh, 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 word is, I can't do that. So I can't do it. So they were willing to lose it all. You got to change your mindset. He's, so how are we going to change the world if we don't have the right mindset? In churches all across the world, you got women saying, saying this insane, preposterous sayings and slogans. It makes, it's just like total opposite of kingdom mindset. Girl, you better get you a brother who can take care of you. Wrong mindset. Wrong mindset. Girl, you better get you a brother that got a good job. Wrong mindset. Girl, you got to get you a brother that's going to take care of you and the kids and the family. Wrong mindset. 
Wrong mindset. Wrong mindset. He said the renewing of your mind. We got to change our minds. We got to see it the kingdom way. Watch this. What he said. He said, you are not willing to forsake mother, father, land. For me, you are not worthy to be my disciple. He said, the traditions of men have made the word of God to none effect. No, the man need to be man enough to say, no, I'm going to do it this way. But you need to be woman enough to say, I'm going to follow what you're saying that God said. The wrong mindset. How are we going to change the world if we got the world in us? We think if we can't change the world, we can't change the world, fill us up and pour out of it. I said, okay, we can change the world, huh? But we got the world in the church. They got the wrong mindset. I don't see it. Women of God. No, 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 no. You supposed to be doing something too. Or oh, the man supposed to get, no, 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 that's the wrong mindset. I'm not telling you what you're supposed to do, but God has a specific assignment for you. So you can't automatically assume where well, it's okay for me to stay at home. Not if God didn't say that. That's the wrong mindset. It's not for me to say. It's for God. I have no choosing in that. That's him. But see, unfortunately, we have that mindset in the kingdom. Well, it's okay. It's okay. The man supposed to stay. He supposed to take care of, pay all the bills. And it's okay for me to work at the corner store. Part-time. Ain't nothing wrong with that if that's what God said. You could take a little lesser job and he has the greater job to pay all the bills. Just give you a little something to do. Wrong mindset. Wrong mindset. Because watch this. The season may shift where you work in two jobs. Oh! And God got him staying home reading the Bible. Studying and prepared so he can do a fishing job when God sent him out to do his assignment. He might have you working two jobs. Now you're not the prayer provider. He just uses that the channel. Because he sees you as one. So, who, so whatever, whatever channel come in, what, what does it matter? Because you got to keep the mindset. It's all good. While he was reading all night, you getting up at 6 o'clock in the morning going to work. And you walk out the door. This brother's still in the bed. But see, a woman operating that trick hole spirit, she going to stab that brother right in his head. Get your sorry, lazy, blank, blank, blank up. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But watch this. But a woman of God with the kingdom mindset said, baby, set your alarm clock. You got to catch this in the spirit. Set your alarm clock. And if you got to get up at seven, I have the breakfast already made for you. That's the woman with the kingdom mindset. You got to catch us in the spirit. Because I understand that your reading, your studying is buildable to you doing your assignment. Now, let me help y'all, ladies. Let me help y'all. Let me help y'all. Let me help y'all. We're going to make sure what he's saying is God. I said, I'm going to help y'all. I said, I'm 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 help y'all. Hey, 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 hey. Listen up, listen up, listen up, listen up, listen up. Hey, hey, come on, listen up. So, we're going to, come on now, we come on now. We need to make sure that's God now. Come on now. 
We haven't ran across that yet. But we're ready if we do. I'm going to say it again. We have not ran across that yet. But we're ready if we do. Because if you lying to your family saying God told you to do something and you're doing opposite. I'm just being honest with you. You're going to have so many foots up your butt it wouldn't make no difference. No sense. I'm going to have my foot up your butt. Apostle going to have your foot up, foot, up his, foot up your butt for lying. Playing games in the kingdom and we trying to save lives. But if that's what God said, the woman with the right mindset, she understand that. So she's going to go ahead and work them two jobs. Because God told her to. Because she knows that she is vital and essential to her husband being used efficiently in the kingdom. Can I get a witness here? So you doing your job as the helpmate by what help him be prepared to do his assignment. But if you have the wrong mindset, watch this. You could be walking away from something that, that was really good that God wanted to give you. But because you had the wrong mindset, you could miss out on something that you really, really wanted that was a hard desire. And God didn't tell you to throw it away, but you throw it away because you had the wrong mindset. Watch what I'm finna say. Now, has, he didn't tell you everything, meaning God, because he didn't want you to walk by faith and not by sight. He wanted to hold back sometimes some things because he wanted to do something to change your heart. So where you see things a different way. So watch what happened when you have the wrong mindset. Because the Bible said the devil come to kill, steal, and destroy. Can I get a witness here? So watch this, because you would not let God cultivate you in kingdom mindset. Watch what happens. He wanted you to stay home. I mean, he wanted him to stay home and read his Bible and develop him, had him watching TBN, reading all kind of books, just going in while you doing two jobs. God, you, you not the, with the bread. No, no, because he said without me, you can do nothing. So you have to get, he could have made where well, you got no job. He just used you as a channel, the same way he would use him as a channel. It's just a channel. It's just a channel. So God wanted to do this. While he's reading, studying, and praying, he goes into that arena working at McDonald's on fries. We know it don't pay a lot. But don't mind you none because you got kingdom mindset. But we're talking about a woman who said, I, I, I don't got kingdom mindset. I ain't, finna, I ain't with this. This brother working on fries, I'm working two jobs, and God, you telling me to do this? No, I ain't with that. So watch what you miss. Because the devil come to kill, steal, and destroy. So he deceives you and saying, what prophet Bible say? It ain't God. Flush that sermon down the toilet. That ain't God. Because God ain't going to have no brother laying up in the bed with his old ashy, crusty feet, wearing them old dirty socks, talking about God told him to stay home. While I'm working two jobs. That is not God. But because you refuse to hearken to the voice of the Lord, watch what you miss. So he goes in the original. He didn't tell you that from the beginning. He just wanted you to walk by faith and not by sight. He was going to use that situation to cultivate you because previously, before you came to Christ, you had a trick of spirit. You only performed and gave guys affection and attention for money. So he wanted to use that situation to change you. So watch this. He's at the McDonald's. He on fries. One year later, he the manager. Two years later, he on 10. McDonald's. But because you refuse to change God's mindset, look how much money you lost. We know it ain't all about money, but that was our inward heart desire for you to be financially secure. And God said, I want to give it to you, but I want to change your mindset but because you couldn't listen and hearken to God's voice look at what you missed 
each McDonald's on the average produced twenty million dollars a piece. Oh, y'all ain't hearing me. But because you refuse to change your mindset, you let the devil steal. What is twenty times ten? Two hundred million dollars annually. Gone. He off with some other chick. He don't really love her. He really love you. But he know you don't have kingdom mindset. So though he may have to cry and sleep at, sleep to sleep at night at first to get over you, but he know you ain't got kingdom mindset. So he know you are no good to him because you don't have kingdom mindset. So the true man of God, if he, when, he, when he knows who he is in that kingdom mindset, if you don't have the same mindset, you are no value to him. Oh, you look pretty and you look fine. That don't matter to a real man of God because you don't have kingdom mindset. You are no good to him. You are no value to him because you don't have kingdom mindset. Because he understands you're going to harass you're going to say the wrong things. You're going to act totally different because you don't have kingdom mindset. Daughters of the house, let God change your mindset. How are we going to change the world? If we have the same mindset. The kingdom work come before everything else. You need to get permission from God before you do anything. You were bought with a price. How dare you take your body and do what you want to do with it. That is not kingdom mindset. Well, I'm going to stay home tonight. Says who? Did God okay it? Or are you just doing what you want to do? That ain't kingdom mindset. Notice what I said. I didn't say he wouldn't tell you to stay home. And be snuggled up with your boo. Guess God will say that. Because God is not religious. Anybody know religious means that's Structure set order. They gonna go to church if the church burnt down. I'm sorry, if their house burnt down, if their kids sick, they gonna go. They religious. They gonna it's a routine. They are gonna go, 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 go. They ain't really trying to get transformed, but it's about the ritual. But God is flexible. He cares about everything that we have going on in our life. So He might say, "Don't go to church tonight." Stay home and watch Disney Channel with your daughters. Get the popcorn and everything. Do the whole shebang. Even have somebody give you the money. God may say, here, here goes some money. Take the kids to Disney World. Take them to the Bush Garden. Take them everywhere. Don't come to church for three weeks. God, God will do that. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. But you need permission from God. Because he needs you in the kingdom because he wants to use you to save lives. So it ain't your beckoning what you want to do. No, 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 no. If you, wanna, if you have kingdom mindset. He has total rulership over you. If you want to walk with a, as a woman of God in kingdom mindset. He has something to say about how you talk, how you walk, how you dress, how you, what he, he wants something to say about everything. That's kingdom mindset. No, I want to wear what I want to wear. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Woman of God, that's not kingdom mindset. Now, I truly believe that God understands that when you wear certain things, you feel like a woman. I do. And I believe that he allows you to do that to a point. 
without having you dressing with baggy, droopy pants on. But if God says to you, I need you to change that. And I know sometimes it can be a tedious and a hard, mind-boggling situation because of the previous mindset. But if God says to you, you need to change that for whatever reason that is. I'm not going to make nothing up, but for whatever reason that is. That's kingdom mindset. That's kingdom mindset. If he said to you, where you, where you dressing, you causing brothers to look at you, and you like, and you, you, in your mind, you ain't trying to do that, but God said, I, I know you're not. But for the kingdom's sake, you're not, you're not hearing what I'm saying to you. For the kingdom's sake, I need you to change that. What you wearing, that's kingdom mindset. I'm about to say I sound like a possum. I'm going to say this before we close. <laughs> but I'm going to say it we're going to close. You got, as God in this ministry here, it's been prophesied, it's been foretold, it's been said over and over and over again, <clears throat> redundantly, that God is going to send an influx of women to the ministry. And from my knowledge and what I see, we have an outstanding support system that's ready for the influx of women. Amen? From what I see, they're doing an outstanding job. They have all kind of uh, um, uh, group chats, this, that, and other on this Outstanding job. So I know as God does this, he wants us to be ready. Not only with those things that we're doing now, which is good, but he wants us to be ready with the right mindset. He wants the daughters of the house to have the mindset that, no, baby, let me tell you something. You don't have to depend on no man for nothing. We're not male bashing men, but you don't have to depend on, come on now. You don't have to depend on the man for nothing. He wants you to tell him that God is the supplier. So if he used, baby daddy, amen. So if he used, Baby daddy, or not, amen. God is the supplier. You don't need nobody to hold your hand late in the midnight hours. You're not hearing what I'm saying to you. If he is not your husband, God, come on now, you got to catch this in the spirit. God will hold your hand in the late night midnight hours. You don't need to fall for no side deals. You don't need to fall for Joni flowing his calls and foolishness that he's trying to play. You need to be able to tell him, no, God in him, he is sufficient. And he is all you need. You need to be able to tell him that God will place men of God. Let me say it the right way now. He will place. Come on now. Let me walk down this aisle. He will place. Men of God in your life. Let me say that one more time. He will place. I'm going to back that up one more time. He will place. Notice what I said. He will place. Because sometimes when they come up through the door, they got the wrong mindset. They don't know that the kingdom mindset, no, no, we don't, we don't take no phone calls at 12 o'clock at night. Mm. <laughs> we don't go ride 1 o'clock in the morning with 
will be. No, you're supposed to be getting married to him that you engage to him, and that's the one you're supposed to be with. You ride one o'clock in the morning with him. You want to tell him that we don't play them kind of games. Hmm. No, when you first come to church, no, you no, get out of the brother's face. You got to have the right mindset. You got to say, no, baby, no, 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 no. Leave them brothers alone. Because you still got the wrong, you got the wrong mindset. You think, come on now, when you first, when, when they first come, they still think like, I see a guy, I like a guy, I'm going to holler at him. It's the wrong mindset. But if you ain't ready to help them get the right mindset, we're going to have them not getting it, and they're going to be sitting up in the church. Well, they're supposed to be getting help, but you got the wrong mindset too. So you playing games, now they see you playing games. Hmm. You talking to dudes all the time of night, and you ain't supposed to. See, y'all think when y'all do what we're telling y'all not to do, y'all fooling us. No, you're not. No, you're not. This is a prophetic ministry. Somebody sees you. Somebody going to see you when you're on your late night rendezvous. You might not see them, but they're going to see you. If they don't see you, God going to show somebody. You have to show us. You show somebody a dream. You putting your hands somewhere where you shouldn't be putting them. You talking to somebody you shouldn't be talking to at the wrong or inappropriate times. Now, remember, don't put nobody in bondage, but when you first come in the door, you don't need to be in no brother's face. So y'all think when y'all doing stuff that we telling you not to do, you messing up you holding back the work of the kingdom. He said the whole earth is moaning and groaning, waiting on the manifestation of the sons of God. He said when you die, he said when the seed falls to the ground and it dies, it should produce much fruit. So when you die to what you want and your feelings and your emotions, you're going to produce something. See, God want to produce I'm just going to go ahead for a second. He wanted to produce another one in the bottom. She failed. She messed up. She was in error. She would never return back to national prominence ever again. Because of what she did. I didn't say God couldn't use her, but she would never return to national prominence again. See, when you go taste the goodness of God and the gifts and move and do all kinds of things like that, and you totally defy God when he tells you no. He can't trust you. Because with an anointing, it does come with influence. Yes, it does. And you couldn't use the influence the right way or the wrong way. So you have a strong anointing. You have an influence on people. And then you tell them the wrong thing. See, when you have an influence... And you have kingdom mindset. Oh, you could tear the devil's kingdom down. But when you have the wrong mindset, you're going to be strengthened in the hand of the enemy. The whole earth is moaning and groaning, waiting on the manifestations of the sons of God. We need you to get this, ladies. We need you to get kingdom mindset. Because this wrong mindset is causing these women, they're hurt. They're broken. They're wounded. They're damaged. They've been dogged out and abused. But you have the answer. But you don't want to die fully to your flesh and deny yourself so you're still playing a little bit. I've heard women say this to me. I don't know anything else to do. My mama had a boyfriend and another boyfriend, another boyfriend. I don't know what else to do. I'm supposed to be lonely by myself. I'm supposed to just die old maid. But see, when you have the right mindset, no, baby. I can't promise you that you're going to have a husband. 
But I can promise you that there's a God who will never leave you nor forsake you. He'll be with you to the end. We got to get the mindset. The kingdom mindset. Lay down your life so others can live. That's my word for tonight. Amen. Is there anybody in the house of God tonight under the sound of my voice has never accepted Jesus Christ and you would and you would like to enter into the most wonderful